There are a lot of videos on YouTube with the title Top 10 Things to Do in Jamaica. And most of them talk about the same things like river tubing, zip lining, and horseback riding. Basically, the kind of things I would not usually recommend. And not because they're bad things, but rather because they're not really the things that represent Jamaica. This country has such rich cultural and historical background and so many distinct features that make Jamaica stand out even among other Caribbean countries, never mind the rest of the world. And if I were to make a list, it would be called top 1000 things to do in Jamaica. I'm not kidding. And I do actually have the list. But there are two problems. One, you don't have six years to travel around Jamaica like I've had. And two, everybody has different interests, obviously. So the things that would be top for me might not be top for you. I have come up with an idea how to solve these problems. And this video is exactly that. When planning a trip, you need to set your priorities right depending on the number of days you have. To help you with these priorities, I'm going to give you a list of top things to do in Jamaica in a form of 10 categories, with examples. Number one, starting with the obvious, spend a day on a beach. But the question is, what beach? If you're staying in a resort, they probably have their own beach, but this might not always be the best choice. Instead, you can try out a popular beach or something more secluded and personal. But here are just a few examples to compare. Number two, while we are by the beach, spend some time doing water activities. Now, the choice would depend a lot on your skills and preferences. Of course, you can do the popular touristy stuff like, say, parasailing or catamaran sunset cruise, which is perfect for people who love partying more than anything. Or you can do something more private, like a fishing trip. Depending on a season, you might want to choose big game fishing, trolling or deep water fishing. <laughs> For divers, there are a lot of options in Jamaica because there are beautiful reefs, caverns, caves, shipwrecks and even old airplanes underwater. My personal favorite water activity is a private sailing trip with snorkeling at a distant reef with a chance to see Stingray in the wild. Number three, about time to actually see Jamaica. I recommend spending at least a day with locals, hopefully also meeting the ones who are not involved in tourism industry directly. For example, you can visit a local community, take a walk in downtown with a stop to buy fruits at a marketplace, and try out some street food. This is Jamaica bread fruit, called yellow heart. Pick it and roast it, and then roast it, you peel it off, and then make the pot out of the chocolate oil in the pot, and then slice it and take out the heart and slice it and put it in the pot and let it dry. That's nice. good. It's good. For those who really want to go off the beaten path and find out what it's like to live in rural Jamaica, you might want to travel to small towns and villages in the hills away from the touristy areas. Please note, resorts don't advertise experiences like these not because they don't want to, but because by law they should only advertise the so-called places and activities that are licensed by Jamaica Tourist Board. And you cannot really have a local community as a licensed tourist attraction, because it's not a tourist attraction, it's just a place where people live. However, such things like Airbnb Experience Platform would offer a range of local hosts who are happy to share their lifestyle and often would just become your friends. Alternatively, you can ask your driver to help you with this and take you to a community where he or she lives. Number four, let's go inland, away from people, towns, beaches and resorts. 
and do one of the things that Jamaica is best for – rainforests and waterfalls. I'll show you two reasons why Jamaica is one of the best places for this. One, there are no dangerous animals, snakes, spiders or any other creatures in Jamaican rainforests. Which means you can hide this lush, beautiful jungle without being afraid for your life. And two, you see, you can find waterfalls in many countries in the world, that's for sure. However, most of them are way too big or way too cold or way too strong for you to interact with them. But it's very different in Jamaica. You can actually do things at every single one of them. See for yourself. Hiking, climbing, swimming off ropes, swimming in shallow or deep waters, cliff jumping at any heights, squeezing through small caves, or cliff jump, squeeze through a cave and swim at the same time. How about doing a magic trick and disappear in a hidden cave behind the waterfall? Personal favorite, hiding behind a waterfall for a romantic moment with a special someone. Okay, maybe that wasn't the best example of a romantic moment, but you've got the point. So, visiting Jamaican waterfalls or rainforests, it's the whole adventure, making you feel something like a character from a Hollywood movie or a computer game. Something between Indiana Jones and Lara Croft. Talking about these two fictional archaeologists, how about some real history? Number 5 visit historical places. The thing is, when it comes to tourism, you won't really find many stories about real Jamaican past. In fact, tourist guides often avoid this topic completely. And the reason is pretty obvious. You know, when tourists come to relax, enjoy their time, have fun, there is really no room for stories about transatlantic slavery. It is considered that Jamaican past is sad and tragic. And that's why the real history is ignored in a way and replaced with something fun like Rose Hall Great House and Annie Palmer the Ghost Story. Jamaican past is a story of true heroes who were put in absolutely inhumane conditions yet found the courage and strength to fight for freedom and for what freedom really stands for and won. Why not learn about the story of Taki who was a leader of one of the fights and we now have waterfalls in Jamaica named after him, Taki Falls. Visit Seville Great House and see original artifacts from the past, including Taino Indians' history. Do a Falmouth Heritage Walk to see how old Jamaican town operated. And what about the architecture? For example, did you know that Jamaica has many old castles? And if you think that a ghost story sounds scary, what would you think of a story about a real serial killer, Lewis Hutchinson, a Scottish doctor who migrated to Jamaica in the beginning of the 18th century and kept hunting for people from his own Edinburgh castle. And yes, yeah, some parts of this castle are still there. In general, there are bits and pieces of former sugarcane plantations, rum factories and so-called great houses, where plantation owners used to live spread out across many areas of Jamaica. Yes, you would usually be advised to visit historical places that have a tourist board license and, in this sense, the best options would be Greenwood Great House or Appleton Rum Estate. But there are also less known places, for example, Orange Valley in Trelawney or a place close to Negril, where the current owner can take you on a private tour around his house. 1674? Mm -hmm. Wow, that's an old building. This, for the food. Yeah, it's an old time, it's silver. It's silver, is it? 
Made in Berlin. Mm -hmm. Wow. 1913? Mm -hmm. What? How did they? Mm -hmm. Wow, you need to restore oh, it. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. And the last but not least, Jamaican churches. The working churches, abandoned churches, all sorts of churches. Christianity in Jamaica is a huge thing and deserve the whole set of videos, not just one. So let's leave it at this for now. Number six, try local food. And I don't mean local food prepared for tourists in your resort. That's also delicious, but it's not the main point. If you ask your guide what the national dish in Jamaica is, you most likely hear something like ackee and saltfish or jerk chicken. And that's true. But these are not something that Jamaicans eat every day. I'd say the real national food in Jamaica, fried chicken with rice and peas and some veg on the side. Thank you. When you are in Jamaica, yes, you can and should try food in a proper restaurant, but you should also find the time to do these little cafes where locals buy food for lunch. Just choose anything from the menu and the chances are 99.9% .9 is going to be delicious. And please don't forget to try Jamaican parties. If you don't know what they are, just ask any local person. He or she will show you where the nearest party shop is. If you are vegetarian or vegan, go to a local place. This would usually be run by Rastafari and have a wide range of vegetarian meals. And of course, there is always some season of some fruits, so you're good to go all year round. Number seven, see wildlife. Let's get it straight right away. I'm a person who feels strongly against using animals for human entertainment. That's why I suggest visiting places where wildlife can be found in the wild. For example, you can visit Black River and see these incredible guys in their natural habitat. Yeah, this guy play for West Indies, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Climb off here and then come back. Or not. Oh, or not. Or not. <laughs> Cool. Yeah, can I stand up? Yeah. There's someone here, I gotta call them. truly great thing about Jamaican wildlife would be birds. You will see them a lot in Jamaica, even in your resort. And yes, you can do something popular like visiting Rocklands Park and feeding hummingbirds there. But I would suggest for people who love wildlife to take a little step further and do a proper bird watching and hiking experience. So we offer and here I would also like to mention one experience that is unique and can only be found in Jamaica. One of my favorite places called Montego Bay Animal Haven and it's an animal shelter. It's not really a tourist attraction but it's turning into becoming a tourist attraction because of its incredible thing called the hike with 100 hooligans. The shelter itself is located in the hills here. Um, they have over 17 acres of land. Dogs are staying inside of this area here. But then when we go for a hike, they run out and they run everywhere around here. <laughs> and no, dogs there are not used for entertainment of humans. They are just rescued from the streets, treated well, and then are just looking forward to finding their forever loving home. See, maybe yours will be the one. Number eight, do a tourist activity. By these, I mean all sorts of package tours designed for tourists, like ATVs plus zip lining plus river tubing. Honestly, I'm not a big fan of this kind of stuff. But if you wish to contribute some of your time to doing these things, why not? Guys, you want some apples? You want to catch it? All right, let's try it. Up. Yeah, all right, you try it. All right. So three apples. 
though it would make more sense to choose the activities that are unique to Jamaica. For example, do a Jamaican-style rafting on a river. The most interesting one would be Rio Grande rafting or Blue Lagoon rafting in Portland. If you cannot go that far, then a good alternative is Marta Brea river rafting or Great River rafting. Another example of a unique Jamaican tourist activity would be glistening waters at Luminous Lagoon. And I have already mentioned this in my previous video. Number 9. Experience Jamaican culture. There are many ways what you can do for this, but when it comes to learning about Jamaican culture, most people think of Bob Marley right away and would usually go to a place where Bob Marley was born, which is called Nine Mile. However, for true fans of Bob Marley and learning about his life and creativity firsthand, I would rather suggest two other places. One is Bob Marley's Museum in Kingston, which is an incredible interactive experience, and two is Trenchtown Culture Yard Museum, also in Kingston. Some call it the Hollywood of Jamaica, while others refer to it as the cradle of Jamaica's music. This place is packed with history, and lucky for you, we will be exploring some of it today. In fact, if you want the best of the best of Jamaican music and culture, Kingston is the place to go. Yes, the capital of Jamaica has had this reputation of a place to avoid, which nowadays is a complete nonsense. Kingston is an incredibly diverse and interesting city, with a lot of places of cultural and historical significance. And I will certainly share my experience of travelling around Kingston alone, as a foreign tourist, and a quick reminder, as a female foreign tourist. And if you don't want to miss this video, don't forget to subscribe. But back to culture. If you want to party all day and night, Kingston is the place for parties. If you want to see how music is created, well again, Kingston is the place to go. Jamaica has its own carnival and it's usually a celebrated and a well-attended event every year. It's a parade and it's normally held on the Sunday after the Easter holidays, except the year 2020, when it's planned to be held the weekend following Jamaican Heroes holiday in October. Jamaican dancing can be sometimes a wow wow for someone or no no for others, but still it's interesting to learn about it. But of course, it would be wrong to say that Kingston is the only place for Jamaican culture. Every place where locals go and things that locals do represent Jamaican culture. My personal favorite cultural experience in Jamaica is certainly visiting Rastafari and learning about their lifestyle. Despite a popular belief, there aren't that many of them in Jamaica, and even less can actually be found anywhere close to the tourism industry. A lot of Rastafari live away from the hustle and bustle of towns in small communities up in the hills, so finding them and getting to them can be an interesting adventure on its own. Now, when you wake up, don't you want to see like when the tent is right at the edge of the cliff and then you've got this, these pine trees in Jamaica and the mountains. This is my list of top things to do in Jamaica, but be careful. 
If you do all of these things, there is a high risk that you will become hooked on Jamaica and will want to come back again and again and again. Thank you so much for watching and to everyone who supports in my channel. My name is Irina and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.